Hey you guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is Journey in Six, your middle-aged natural beauty. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to check in tonight with a little video. Um, not a big one. I had a video idea <clears throat> that I wanted to, to do. You know, I was going through my channel. Um, I said, well, you know what? I was going to answer one question, one or two questions from every year that I've been locked you know um, I was going through my videos and just looking for the questions to answer and guess what you guys don't ask me questions that's okay I do have two questions that that I came across and I'm like I get the same the same thing most of the time um, your locks look great your locks are growing um, your locks are gorgeous, and thank you, thank you so much for all of those compliments. Um, but nobody asked me how I do anything. But I do have two questions that were asked of me, and I'm going to answer these questions. Um, <clears throat> one was asked three years ago, and I just was going through my my 18-month lock update video, and I saw it, and it was from a lady by the name of Eve Barr. Eve, thank you so much for your question. I appreciate it. You gave me some content for my video tonight. Okay, so the question was, do I find it better um, that my locks are better um, since I started them with braids instead of twists? Um, yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, I do think that had I um, just did the spiral twist or the comb curl, comb coils, um, of course the natural uh, curl pattern would have taken over and formed the lock and I would have had the little sponges. But if you guys, anybody that knows me knows that I love interlocking. So I just love the convenience that it gives me. And yeah, so... I do find that for me and for what I have done with my hair and what I want to do in the future, um, yeah, the the braids were better for me. Um, they can be confusing though. Uh, when you start your hair with braids, you have holes. And when I say holes, I mean holes like in the braid because it has to mesh and form the lock well when you're um, when you're maintaining your hair you may see that and say oh my god I have a hole and you feel like you may need to fix it but really in all honesty you don't because it's gonna mesh now what you do at your scalp I mean that I'm talking about that's with the shaft of your lock now you can create a hole with your um, with your um, in your root and of course you would have to fix that I had a video uh, but I just don't think I really did a good job of of explaining and demonstrating how to fix um, holes in your locks but yeah anyway so that was one question and I really appreciate that now I uh, I went back and I subscribed to your channel too okay another question that I had gotten was from Epsil Eps, E P P S L E P P S, and this was on my most recent video um, from my five-year lock anniversary, which was actually a happy lock and what well, well, lock day, lock appreciation day video, and I just kind of threw in a little five-year anniversary in there. But anyway, yeah. So she asked, um, she asked me um, to talk a little bit more about. Two, two uh, products that I had kind of mixed together and I was using. Oops! It's these two. Aspirin and coconut oil. Now this is actually a body oil. But coconut oil is coconut oil. And the reason I like this is because it's nice and it's it's got body. It's not real thin. It's got a lot of body to it. It's got a very nice fragrance. You can smell the coconut in here. It smells really good, and it it's all natural. Of course, you don't. There's no parabens, no phthalates, no mineral oil, no 
gluten, no sulfates, and no dyes. Perfect. Regular aspirin. Okay, so in that video, I had told you guys that I had mixed the two and I was spraying it in my hair. The reason I did that uh, was because of these the, these few reasons. I was watching a video by this lady, uh, what was her name? Hmm, Tommy Color Pavilion, T O M I C A L O R. Pavilion, P A V I L L I O N. Okay, and she was she was talking about using um, aspirin for your hair and how it makes you it brings back shine, but they mix it in their shampoo. So I'm gonna try that next time. I'm gonna mix it in my shampoo. And then there's another video by H E A Tube, um, and they were talking about the benefits of aspirin for your hair. And I'm going to give you three reasons why it's really good. Well, it's really good for exfoliating your scalp and, and all the things that cause dandruff. It exfoliates your scalp. And this is when you mix it with shampoo. Uh, with shampoo. And then um, it is good for decreasing inflammation. And it's good, like I said, to add shine. And it stimulates um, your scalp to grow your hair. I haven't used it in a while, as you see. I haven't put the two together. But in the future, I will. Let me tell you something about that, though. When you do that, you got to remember that that aspirin is in here. So it's going to be like build up. It's, uh, it's going to, you're going to have to wash your hair very thoroughly. Because even though the aspirin, you can shake it up and it's in here, uh, when you spray it onto your hair, uh, the aspirin does not liquefy. It just, it just, you know, kind of still remains in little particles. Once you spray it on your hair, you don't see it in your hair. You spray it on your hair, but when you wash your hair, it, it is as beautiful as it's beautiful and as shiny as it can be. Um, it can be that dirty too. That's what I'm really trying to say. That when you mix it together and you put it in your hair like that, it it kind of attracts um, dirt so um, yeah make sure you keep your hair clean but I'm gonna try it with shampoo in the very near future so we can see how that looks anyway um so much for my idea of answering a question for every year I've been locked but maybe this will inspire you guys to ask me some questions unless of course you guys are all experts and I know um, and I mean that with all the love in the world, um, we all share our, our lock journeys and, and, um, yeah, we could, but we can still learn from each other. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening. This is Journey Against Six from Middle Age Natural Beauty, and I'm going to sign out. Peace. If you have questions, please ask. Let me show you my little... This is how I keep my hair when it's hot. I just keep it to the side like this. And I use my hair to make a little bow with my hair. I guess, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, that's it. Bye.